All right, doing this a little bit backwards. We're gonna start at the end and then uh, go back in time and actually run the test. So this is the uh, soft starter that's plugged in and this is the extension cord that you'll see the other end of. And I just wanted to see if it was uh, warmed up at all after uh, that little bit of usage and uh, it's really not. It's it's pretty cool to the touch overall. So yeah, I would say uh, we, haven't, we haven't even uh, made it work at all. So yeah, let's get into it. Today we're answering a question that was posted in the comments of one of my earlier videos. Uh, the poster asked if you could use a power strip with a soft starter to uh, make use of the soft starter for multiple tools. And that got me thinking there are a few different, few different modes that uh, people might want to use. And uh, the answer probably isn't the same for all of them. So some of the some of the scenarios that I could think of were, you know, maybe you want to have just uh, a, a power rail and a single soft starter. And then as you go around from tool to tool, you've got soft starting for each of your tools. Uh, another one would be you've got multiple people working in the same workshop and you want to, again, have a single power rail and you want that power rail to soft start all of your tools, even if they're running simultaneously, but starting at different times, maybe one starting while another one's already running. And then the uh, third scenario that I could think of was uh, dust collection. So for dust collection, a lot of times you want to, uh, you want to start your dust collection either just before or at the same time that you start whatever the tool is that is creating dust. So we're gonna, we're gonna try out a few different things. So, Looking at the uh, looking at the bench here, the uh, power cord right now is uh, plugged straight into the wall without the soft starter, and we've got a uh, glorified power strip here. I'm gonna do a little. Uh, I'm just gonna show you that it's uh, it's kicking pretty hard right now, just to show that uh, this thing's not uh, not having any impact on the system. I've got a pedal for uh it just switches uh this right here so it connects and disconnects the uh the power strip from upstream and then we've got the chop saw from the previous video we've got my table saw and then down uh off frame over here you can kind of see me pointing in the window there is uh is my shop vac so you'll be able to hear it even if you can't see it so let's see where do we where do we want to start with this i guess just to to show you the uh the kick that uh, that the saw has from the get-go. We're gonna enable the pedal here. I'm just you know showing you how it works. I'll throw it on the ground and do it the right way for the rest of them. But uh, you know, just kicking on the saw, you can, you'll see that it's got a uh, pretty good jump right now. So. All right, I'm gonna put the pedal down on the ground so that I can use it the way it's designed to be used. And now I'm going to uh, switch in the uh, soft starter and you'll be able to see uh, how it works in the uh, different scenarios. All right. So now I'm standing on the safety pedal and I have the uh, extension cord plugged into the soft starter, so you'll hear that here with uh, just starting the saw up on its own. And you can also hear the vacuum will uh, nice and smoothly spool up as well. So one thing I wanted to test is whether both the, uh, both the vacuum and the saw would spool up at the same time. So this is where, this is where the, the pedal comes in. So I'm gonna hold the trigger on the saw and I'm just checking the vacuum here. Sorry, I don't have any like that, you know, frilly stuff from the uh, department store where they sell air conditioners. But uh, I just want to see if they uh, both spin up here and I don't think I'll be able to hear the vacuum.
All right, so that that confirmed that yeah, using the using the pedal to uh, start them both up at the exact same time, <clears throat> the soft start does work on both of them, and uh, you know it it works like like you would expect works well. So now the next thing I want to try is starting up the uh, starting up the vacuum first, and you know letting it run and then pulling the trigger on the saw to see uh, to see how it, how it does. So that felt to me like the the saw still started fairly hard, but not as hard as not having the soft starter at all, which makes sense because the the soft starter would already be a little bit open with its uh, NTC thermistors would be a little bit open because of the vacuum already running, so it's not going to have as much resistance to uh, flowing flowing new current in that inrush. So that, that's about what I would expect. I don't know that I would uh, necessarily use it in that arrangement, but it's going to be better than not having it at all. And then I want to I want to try it out also uh, with the with the table saw here. Oop, let me turn off the vacuum. All right. So one of the interesting things I found with the table saw is uh, my particular model has. Uh, the switch is a uh, is designed so that when you unplug the saw, the switch turns itself off, so that you can't accidentally plug it in with it turned on. So, in order to get it to fire up with the uh, with the soft starter, I have to hold the power button down quite a while, but it does uh, spool itself up. So once it's on and running and holding itself on, I'll then uh, kick on the chop saw and see if uh, see how the apparatus here does with uh, two fairly high draw tools running at the uh, running at the same time. So I'm not sure if you could catch that easily in the video, but uh, when I turned on the chop saw after the uh, table saw was already running, it pulled the current down low enough, probably pulled the voltage down low enough that uh, the, the latch switch on the table saw turned off and the table saw turned itself off. I, I didn't turn it off, it turned itself off. So I would say that that uh, setup is probably not gonna work if it's you and your buddy and you're both working on uh, off of the same power bar and it's going to a single soft starter, probably not gonna work for you. Uh, but the idea of starting two tools at the same time where one of them is you know, a vacuum or a dust collector, that, that'll, that'll probably work. And the idea of running uh, just one tool at a time where, you know, you're going to run the chop saw for a while, then you're going to, you know, go do something on the table saw, then you're going to go over to your uh, old style router that doesn't have a built in soft start. You know, if you're if you're doing it like that, then uh, running multiple tools on a single power rail going down to a single soft starter definitely will work. So, you know, the the answer to this is is it depends. But I'll put the put a table down in the in the description, or maybe I'll make a blog post or something. I'll figure it out. Uh, just putting the, uh, the the TLDR of all of this. But uh, yeah, I hope this was helpful, and we will see you on the next one.